Hello, um, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate one of our open source CTrader CBOT kit um, trading robots. It's the relative strength index um, example of a CBOT. Now, these for educational purposes. So, what I'm going to show you is a CBOT complete with source code. So, you can add new features or modify it to, to your trading needs. And I'm also going to run a quick um, optimization and backtest just to show you what's possible using the CTrader trading platform on a very basic um, example CBOT. So firstly, I'm going to go and show you the parameters that we're going to use for this trading system. So um, what it does, first of all, actually, the relative strength index is an indicator um, on the product page that I'll show you at the end of this video. It explains it in more details. But the whole idea, which is the indicator you can see here with the white line, is that when the white line goes above an upper value like 60, um, the symbol that you're trading is seen to be overbought. So it means people have bought the symbol and it's ready for actually making a turn and becoming bearish. When it drops down below the lower threshold, this is seen or it's deemed that the symbol is oversold and it should at some point then start going back into a bullish trend. So when it's above the red line, it's overbought. When it's below the green line, it's oversold. So it's a very simple relative strength index trading strategy. I'm going to go through the um, adjustable parameters now that you can use for it. So here at the top, we've got the label name. Now, the label name allows you to only modify trades um, that this robot opens and no other manual trades that you might need. You've got the volume in lots. It starts defaults at 0 0.01. Then you've got a default stop loss and take profit. These are your risk management and take profits. You can also specify if it's a single trade only, because what this system will do when it goes below, for example, the lower threshold, it will open a buy position. It will only open a buy position um, at any time until it goes above the upper threshold. Then it closes the buy position and opens a sell position. Then when it drops back down the lower threshold, it will open a buy position and close the sell position. So if you leave it a single trade, only one position will be open at any time. If you set this to no, it will open up multiple positions every time it goes through the um, upper or lower threshold. It won't close a position when it goes has a buy signal or a sell signal using the thresholds. Um, if you disable the take profit and stop loss, this means that um, whatever take profit and stop loss you put into these values, it will ignore. It will ignore. Sorry, it won't um, set them. It will only close when the um, position goes above or below the threshold. Now these are the upper and lower thresholds, 70 and 30. You can adjust them to anything you want. And also the periods for the um, RSI indicator. This is also explained on the product page. So that's a brief overview of the parameters. If I go into the code, now this is the source code written in Microsoft C Sharp using the C Trader API, compiled to .NET 6. These are your parameter settings that you can see here. And the code here um, will actually open and close trades based on the indicator, the relative strength index indicator. And um, at the same time, there's some additional logic to check if the trade is open and stuff. So I'm not going to go through the code and give you a walkthrough of the code. Um, I'm going to leave you. You should be a programmer already. And if you're not a programmer, you can get help from us on the product page. There's a link going to our um, coding help that you can ask for help to add additional features. Or you can use our coding service to actually ask us to add additional features for you. So I'm going to go straight in now and run a back test, uh, sorry, optimization. So what an optimization will do is find the best settings for a period of time. So it will do many cycles to find the best settings. We've done this with a few videos. So if you've seen one previously, then you'll understand it. So I'm going to go back one year. So I'm going to go back to um, second of the seventh. It's actually not the second today. It is the sixth or the seventh. I'm going to go and do that. So it'll go one year, six of the seventh, 2022 to six of the seventh, 2023. I'm going to set the starting capital to be 1000. I'm going to leave all these values fixed. I'm going to do one minute open bar. And the live spread at the moment for this symbol is zero. So we'll leave that at zero. The next thing I'm going to do is set what parameters I want to run uh, when we run the optimization. I want to run the stop loss and take profit. So I want to go between 10 and 100. So what this will do, it will find the best parameters between 10 and 100, for this historical data. Um, I'm going to leave single trade as, as um, no. So it'll open up multiple, multiple trades. I'll do two tests to show you. And I'm not going to disable that. And I'm going to run the upper threshold between 60 and 80. Step one, I'm going to go between 20 of the lower threshold and 40. And I'm going to have the RSI periods between 5 and 19. OK, I'm going to run this now. Leave auto select the best pass. I'm going to run it. And what this will do, 
This will find the best settings that we've got here for this period of time um, for this trading robot to give the best performance. Um, so what it will do, it will give you the best performance on net profit and the number of trades and all the rest of it. You can see now this equity graph showing you the net profit uh, gaining. So I'm going to leave that running. It's only five minutes. And I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's finished just to show you the end results and give you a bit more of an explanation about optimization. OK, I'm back at the end of the optimization run. And as you can see, it ran about six, six minutes. This is the equity growth chart. Um, if we look at the number of trades, there was 2,500 plus trades and it gained a prof net profit of 2,400. If we look at the uh, trade statistics, we can see that um, the total trades, um, total trades 2,580, but there was a very high drawdown. So obviously you wouldn't use this on a live trading account. It has a very high drawdown um, on it. So there's no risk management. And the reason why uh, it does this, there's no real risk features added. It's a very basic CBOT. Um, if I go to the history here, you can see all the history of the trades. And as you can see, there's multiple buys open, uh, there's multiple sales open. So what I'm going to do now is run another back to, uh, sorry, another optimization um, with different settings. What I'm going to do now is set it to single trade yes. So now it's going to do a single trade only at every time instead of multiple trades. There'll be less trades, but there should be better um, optimization results. So I'm going to run this. And again, I'm going to pause the video and come back and show you the results at the end. So you can see already the graph is a lot better, much lower trades than it was previously. OK, that optimization is finished running. You see there's a lot less trades, 850, also a lot, a lot less profit. If I go to the trade statistics, you can see there's a lot less risk. So the drawdown was 3.34%, which is under 5%, um, which is acceptable. Um, obviously, lower profit. If I go to the history, you can see there's a mixture between um, buys and sells. And you can see you've got buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. There should be buy, sell, buy, sell in when they close. So uh, there should be more winning trades than losing trades with this one. I'll go back to tra trade statistics. Now, what I'm going to do now is a little bit of a tweak or a, um, something to um, take into account. On C Trader, because we've got a, a wide range of stop loss pips between 10 and 100, it's not always going to find the right values. So I'm hoping if I go between 10 and, say, for example, 30, I can get better results than I would do if I went between 10 and 100. So you can experiment doing this when you run your own optimization. So I'm going to run this now to see what the results come back out um, for this. So I'm going to run it again. And again, I'm going to pause the video. And uh, I'll come back to it and show you the results once it's completed this. OK, so that optimization run didn't run to plan. So what I'm going to do is something different. Um, there is another um, bit of logic in this trading system that I haven't explained. And that is to disable the stop loss and take profit with single trade. Now, what this will do, this will be the same as um, not having a stop loss or take profit, but it will only open and close positions based on the upper and lower threshold. So every time it goes above, it'll open a buy and below, sorry, a sell and above, a below open a buy. So it'll only, only close and open positions when it crosses these. It won't use take profit and stop losses. So this is another alternative for the um, trading strategy. So again, I'm going to go and show you. I've set it to single trade, yes, disable stop loss and take profit. So these two won't even work. And it will just only use, it will now optimize only the RSI indicator, upper and lower values, and the periods. So I'm going to run this. And again, I'm going to quickly show you why it's starting running. And I'm going to pause the video. OK, I had to do a little bit of tweaking to get the desired results that I was looking for. What I was looking for was a low drawdown with minimum, uh, with very low trades, but a nice exponential growth that we can see there in the chart. Um, so what I did to achieve this was to set the single trade to yes, disable stop loss and take profit to yes. The RSI upper was 80 to 90, so it's a higher, higher threshold. And the RSI lower is 20 to 30, which is a much lower threshold. And the RSI period is from 9 to 19. Now, you can experiment with these values as much as you want. But I gave you two examples of achieving um, many trades with a higher take uh, profit, but with a, lower, a higher drawdown, and also with very few trades not as much to, uh, profit, but a much lower drawdown. And um, these two will give you an idea of how you can optimize and um, run this on your trading system. Now, if you want to apply these settings to your CBOT, you've got there the CBOT instance, you just click on the apply button. 
And once you've done this, you'll see these settings applied on the right hand side. Now, what we're going to do is just run a quick back test. And again, I'm going to go from the 2nd of the 7th. Um, sorry, in our case, it was the 6th. The 6th of the 7th, 2022, to the 6th of the 7th, 2023. We're going to make sure we've got the same back test settings 1000, the live spread. Click play. Now, this will run a back test and it should come up with the same results. Now, again, um, I explained it in the last video a back test is no indication that you'll achieve the same results when you run it on live data. We do not recommend that you run this trading robot on a live account. It's used for um, educational purposes. But if you want to enhance it by adding additional risk features, additional indicators for um, signals, and you want to start with this trading system and start building on it by adding um, more features to make it more robust, robust in the markets, this is perfect for you. You've got the full source code that allow you to go into here and actually modify the source code to do what you want with it really. So if you want to save the settings, you click on the little icon up there and you can save it to your hard drive somewhere. So that's it, that's the video. Um, if you are interested in downloading this product, you just go to our website, clickalgo.com. You go into trading software, algorithmic trading, see what starter kits, and there'll be a few of them in here that you can download. We're adding more as we go along. This is the RSI CBOT kit. And then you just buy now, go through the checkout process. Um, you don't pay anything and you can download it. If you scroll down the page, it will give you more information about RSI indicators, who invented it, the formula for the RSI indicator, how to attach it to a chart, um, how to view the source code, learn algorithmic trading, and other things to help you get started. There's also how to install and open and all the rest of it. So if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you very much.